we want to use long division to find the quotient. We have a three-digit number divided by a two-digit number. The first step is to write the quotient in long division form, which is this form here. So we can write 624 divided by 26 as 624 divided by 26 in this form. To begin performing long division, we begin by considering the leftmost digit of the dividend, which is the 6 in 624. But because 6 is less than the divisor, or less than 26, we know there are 0 26s in 6, and therefore we also consider the next digit, and therefore we consider 62. We begin by determining how many 26s there are in 62. One way to approach this would be to recognize that 26 is close to 25, and if we know that 25 times 2 equals 50, and 62 is fairly close to 50, we probably can conclude that there are two 26s in 62. Let's go ahead and place a 2 in the tens place value of the quotient. Of course, another way to approach this would be to write some products involving 26. For example, we know that 1 times 26 equals 26, and therefore 2 times 26 would be equal to 26 plus 26, or 52. And if we tried 3 times 26, that'd be 52 plus 26, which would be 78. So because 52 is less than 62, and we know there's two 26s in 52, we know there's we know there's at least two 26s in 62, and because 3 times 26 is more than 62, there is not three 26s in 62. Whichever way we use, we now know there are two 26s in 62. So now we multiply 2 and 26, which we know is 52. Every time we find a product, we subtract. Another double check to make sure the digit in the quotient is correct is that when we subtract, the difference must be less than the divisor. If it's greater than or equal to the divisor, the digit in the quotient is incorrect. Well, 62 minus 52 is equal to 10. Notice 10 is less than 26, so the 2 is correct. The next step is to bring the next digit in the dividend down, which is the 4. So we bring the 4 down, and now we have 104. We need to determine how many 26s there are in 104. And again, because 26 is close to 25, if we know that 25 times 4 equals 100, and 104 is close to 100, there's probably going to be four 26s in 104. Let's go ahead and place a four here in the ones place value of the quotient. Before we multiply though, again, if we have a hard time determining this four, we could go back to looking at products involving 26. Notice how if we tried four times 26, this would be equal to 78 plus 26, which is 104. So this product tells us there's exactly four 26s and 104. Of course, another option would be to just look at the division problem, 104 divided by 26. So there are several ways to determine the digits in the quotient. Now let's go ahead and multiply four and the divisor, four times 26, we now know is exactly 104, and we subtract. Notice how when we subtract, the difference is actually zero, and because we've already used all the digits in the dividend, we're done, and because we have a zero here, this means the remainder is zero, and therefore 26 divides evenly into 624. So our quotient is 24, and because 624 divided by 26 equals 24, we also know that 24 times 26 equals 624. The quotient times the divisor equals the dividend. There are 24 groups or 24 copies of 26 in 624. I hope you found this helpful.